In today's video, I'll show you how to add Kanto to your MetaMask wallet and how to bridge from another chain over to Kanto. If you're looking for a comprehensive overview of Kanto, I have a separate video on that that I'll link down in the description. All right, now let's get into it. If we go to the Kanto homepage, Kanto.io right now, then if we try to connect our wallet, we won't be able to, and that's because our MetaMask is currently on the Ethereum network. So what we need to do is we need to actually add Kanto as one of these networks that is on our MetaMask right now. It's not there. And the easiest way to add Kanto, as well as any other Ethereum compatible network, is to go to chainlist.org. And here you can search for the network you want to add, in this case Kanto. We'll click on connect wallet to connect our MetaMask. We'll confirm the connection. And then what we'll simply do is we'll just click on add to MetaMask right here. And again, we'll be prompted to confirm that we want to add this network, Kanto, with the chain ID 7700 and currency symbol Kanto to our wallet. We click approve, and then it will prompt us to switch the network. And now if we go back and check in the MetaMask wallet, then we indeed are connected to Kanto. And if we go back to Kanto.io, then we should be able to connect and look at that. Now, you might be noticing this here says, please generate a public key before bridging assets. And we actually don't need to do that because we are not using the Kanto bridge. We're using a different bridge. So we're going to use the Synapse bridge. And the Synapse bridge will let us go directly from Ethereum or any of these other networks. If you're using DeFi on chain, you probably have used one of these. We're going to go from Ethereum and we'll go straight from there to Kanto without having to do this. So we'll switch our MetaMask back to Ethereum to do this. And then we'll switch our destination chain. In this case, it's already on Arbitrum. We'll change it to Kanto. And then let's send some ETH. We'll connect our wallet. And then we're just going to send 0 0.01 for this demonstration. And now one thing that's useful about Synapse is that it will actually convert a small amount of the funds to Kanto before you bridge over. And this gives you gas to do things on chain once you've bridged. So we'll click on bridge funds. We'll be prompted to confirm the transaction. And because it's Ethereum, the gas is a little high, but that's okay. And we will bridge over and it should just take a second. And then if we scroll down here, we can check the status of our bridging. And if we look, we see that bridging is completed on Kanto. So let's switch back to Kanto now. And as we'd expect, some of that Ethereum was converted to Kanto. And then now what you can do is you can go to the main DEX on Kanto through app.slingshot.finance slash swap slash Kanto. I'll link this in the description as well. And you connect your MetaMask wallet here. And then what you'll be able to do here is whichever coin you bridged over, you are going to want to swap some of these to Kanto. And so in this case, ETH. And the reason for that is that this one Kanto is not going to last you very long. So you just want to make sure that you have some gas to do transactions. And I'll, for example, switch 0.003 ETH to Kanto, and that should give me enough to cover transactions for a while. And that's how to add Kanto to your MetaMask and to bridge funds over to Kanto. If you want more tutorials on Kanto, be sure to drop a request down in the comments. And if you want more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.